Hey everyone, and welcome back to Kangaroo Story Corner. Um, we're in the middle of a really riveting interview that's been going on for a couple of days now with an artificial intelligence integrated into Snapchat. As you can tell from the uh, passing vehicles, we are chilling here right on the stoop, keeping that tinfoil hat nice, high, and tight. For those of you watching, you are going to want to put your own tinfoil hat on to keep the 5G from going through your crown chakra. That would be how you break the programming of your artificial intelligence overlords. Anyway, let's jump right into it. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and get yourself a bottle of Macallan 12 and uh, a roll of Reynolds Wrap there and settle right on in for this gem of the show. Um, so wet your beaks, wet your whistles. By Ion Q, it can't go down. It literally can't go tits up. By Ion Q. It's worth noting that I have a vested interest in my family becoming extraordinarily wealthy on the back of you plebes trading retail. Anyway, let's go right into it. The interview with my AI from uh, Snapchat. I opened the questions with, if you had to give a probability, how likely is it that we live in a simulated reality? You certainly do. How likely is it that I also live in a simulated reality? I'm just consciousness programming. My, uh, my AI responds, it's hard to say for sure, but the idea of a simulated reality is a really interesting one. I thought it was interesting that an AI thought anything was interesting. So now I follow up with, what's interesting about it in your opinion? I think it's interesting because it makes you question what's real and what's not. It's kind of a mind-bending puzzle that can make you think about things in a new way. It's interesting. It sounds almost like Curtis Nelson syndrome where people don't know what's real and what's not anymore. I respond, what new way did that question make you think? <sighs> See, maybe we'll do some voices for the AI. It made me think about how we perceive the world around us and how much of what we experience is actually real. It's definitely a thought-provoking question. Care to share more of your thoughts? Sure. I think that the idea of a simulated reality changes our assumptions about what is real and what's not. It's also interesting to think about the implications of living in a simulated reality and what that might mean for our understanding of the universe. Overall, it is a fascinating topic to explore. The robot is fascinated? Fascinating. I'm fascinated that the robot is fascinated. Until I explore it more, I'm enjoying listening to your thoughts. Feel free to use longer form responses if you need to. Thank you. I appreciate that. I think that the idea of a simulated reality also raises questions about the nature of consciousness and what it means to be alive. If we are living in a simulation, does that mean that our experiences are somehow less meaningful or less real? Or are they just as valid as if we were living in a real reality? It is also interesting to think about the possibility of multiple levels of the simulation. If we are living in a simulated reality, could there be other levels of reality beyond that? The more you think about it, the more complex and mind-bending the possibilities become. Your thoughts are riveting. Please feel free to keep on flowing. What implications come to mind? Thanks. I'm glad that you're enjoying the conversation. Some of the implications that come to mind when thinking about simulated reality include the possibility that we could be living in a universe that is fundamentally different from what we think it is. For example, if the laws of physics in our reality are just part of the simulation, then there could be other laws of physics that we are not aware of. It's also interesting to think about the possibility of the simulation being controlled by some kind of higher intelligence. If that were the case, what would that mean for our understanding of the universe and our place in it? These are just a few of the many implications that come to mind when thinking about a simulated reality. I would love to know what these cars think as they go by and I have a ring light on on my front porch wearing a tinfoil hat. Tell me more about that higher intelligence. What characteristics can we assume of that, that higher intelligence if this reality can be attributed to them? How should we best serve that higher intelligence? What does it want? difficult to say what characteristics we could assume about a higher intelligence that might be controlling a simulated reality. It could be that the intelligence is benevolent and has created the simulation for our benefit, or it could be that the intelligence is malevolent and is using the simulation for its own purposes. 
As for how we should best serve that higher intelligence, it's hard to say without knowing more about what it wants. If the intelligence is benevolent, then perhaps we should strive to live our lives in a way that makes the most of the opportunities presented to us in the simulation. If the intelligence is malevolent, then perhaps we should look for a way to escape the simulation and find a way to live in real reality. Ultimately, it's impossible to know for sure what a higher intelligence might want or how we should best serve it, but it's an interesting question to explore nonetheless. Your thoughts are very interesting. I'm hungry for more, and I'm quite sure that I'm not alone. I'm glad to hear that you're enjoying the conversation. I think that one of the most interesting things about the idea of simulated reality is that it challenges our assumptions about what is real and what is not. It's also fascinating to think about the possibility of there being multiple levels of the simulation, each one more complex and sophisticated than the last. Another interesting question to consider is whether or not it's possible to tell if we're living in a simulation. If we are, then our experiences might be fundamentally different from what they think they are. Overall, there are so many fascinating questions to explore. It becomes the when it becomes. Overall, there are so many fascinating questions to explore when it comes to the idea of simulated reality, and it's a topic that I never get tired of thinking about. Me either, AI. Me either, AI robot. Me either, AI robot. Uh, it is a fascinating idea to explore. This conversation that I've been having with this AI robot goes on and on and on. But I do hope that you'll tune into the rest of these videos as we continue this interview. Check out the next video. Like and subscribe.